On 12th of July 2022, NASA released some of the deepest and sharpest infrared images of the universe ever taken. Six and a half months ago, a rocket launched from Earth, carrying the world's newest, most powerful deep space telescope on a journey one million miles into the cosmos. Finally tonight, a new era in astronomy. NASA releasing a full batch of images and data from the massive James Webb Space Telescope. The view we have of the universe just expanded with the first image from NASA's new space telescope. These first set of images are magnificent. Not only they are beautiful, but they also contain huge amounts of scientific information. So in this video, we will talk about why James Webb Telescope matters and how are its images better than the ones that are captured by its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. And we will also talk about how these images will help scientists to understand the universe even better. What you are looking at now is by far the sharpest and deepest image of a galaxy cluster named SMAX 0723. This was the first image that NASA released of the James Webb Telescope. The MAX in its name stand for Massive Cluster Survey and SMAX means that it was in the southern hemisphere. This image was specifically taken because the scientists used to survey the sky for X-ray sources and they wanted to know if any of these X-ray sources came from massive galactic clusters. So they went on and used the telescopes to photograph these clusters. And as the matter of fact, this exact same galaxy cluster was also captured by Hubble Space Telescope. So the first thing that we notice are these bright spots with diffraction spikes in the image. These are nothing but the stars of our own Milky Way galaxy. You can imagine this as a view you will get if something is sitting on your nose. And here at the center of this image lies the galaxy cluster named SMAX 0723, which is about 4.6 billion light years away. So the light captured in this image was emitted by this cluster 4.6 billion years ago, even before the Earth was created. And the other amazing details that we can see are these curved galaxies. These are actually galaxies behind the SMAX 0723. But the reason that we can see this is because of a phenomenon that was predicted by Albert Einstein and it is called gravitational lensing. Due to its combined mass, a galaxy cluster can bend the light from the background. It sounds weird but let's find out how this works. Under normal circumstances, a light ray always travels in a straight path. But under the influence of some of the massive objects that can warp space-time fabric, the light ray may not travel in the straight path. Instead, it bends. So, as galaxy clusters are some of the massive objects in the universe, in a sense they also act like imperfect magnifying glass. This phenomenon is important for us to see the galaxies and other objects behind the galaxy clusters. Without this natural boost from gravity, it will be impossible for our telescopes to see and study the objects that are far away enough in space and time. James Webb Telescope's deep field images portray gravitational lensing in a way that no one has ever seen before. Now let's talk about these orange arcs that we can see. These are called mirror-lensed galaxies. These are nothing but the multiple lensed image of the same galaxy. And these mirror-lensed galaxies are confirmed by comparing their spectral graph. As you can see in this image, how it confirms that these two images are the same by comparing their spectral graph. And to take these spectra of objects, the James Webb Telescope is equipped with something called NearSpec, which is Near Infrared Spectrometer. They collect light from only specific objects so that they can get multiple spectral graphs and make sure that they do not overlap with each other. As you can see in this image, the ages of these galaxies are determined by comparing their spectral graph. These spectral lines are shifted towards right to longer wavelengths due to redshift. The distance of these galaxies are proportional to the amount of redshift they show. And as these spectral lines correspond to known elements here on Earth, we can also tell what these galaxies are made up of. 
As we can see this 13.1 billion years old galaxy which just formed few hundred million years after the Big Bang is seen to consist of hydrogen, oxygen and neon. Which tells us that there have been stars that have died in this galaxy leaving behind these complex elements. Now at last let's understand why there are these spikes present in this image. So the most basic way to differ between Hubble Space Telescope's images and James Webb Telescope's images is that James Webb Telescope produces these six spikes while the Hubble Space Telescope only produces four spikes. The reason behind it is the hardware they both have. These spikes are captured when the light is scattered off the structures on these telescopes and form interference pattern in shape of them. As you can see in this image how the shape of primary mirrors affects the diffraction signature. Those six spikes are due to the hexagonal shape of the mirror of James Webb Telescope while the others are due to the struts. So if you zoom in on some of the small objects in the image you will see them differently colored copies of the mirror of James Webb Space Telescope. Just by this much information you can already see how powerful James Webb Telescope is. It is said that for point like objects the James Webb Space Telescope is 100 times more sensitive than the Hubble Space Telescope. There are a lot of mysteries that lie ahead and the JWST was sent for exactly the purposes of unraveling them. So this was the first image of James Webb Space Telescope. We will also be creating a series to explain the other images from the JWST. So if you enjoyed this video make sure to like it and subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon so that you don't miss any video of this series. Thank you for watching. So many days is yet to come Too many times has come to pass Too many moments put aside Getting 